Hello everyone, welcome back to OTC Fish Keeper. You may have remembered from the last video that uh, I asked everyone to put in the comments their vote for which fish I should put in the new fish tank, the 150, uh, 100, 120 gallon as soon as it was ready to roll. And now it's ready to roll and I tallied up your votes. So I'm going to show you who gets to go in the new tank. It was a close race, I'll tell you that much, that's for sure. Now the goldfish, they got a total of uh, zero votes, okay, so the goldfish, no votes there. But the, the Cory Cats, the Corridor Catfish, they got a grand total of zero votes as well, so Cory's not looking good, not looking good. And then by a unanimous landslide, the angelfish got a grand total of two votes. So, angelfish it is. So what you guys say, we go downstairs and take a look and, uh, and see what the tank looks like with water in it. Okay, we got the first of the two 120 gallon tanks up and running. Got it full of water and even put a couple of fish in there. Now you may notice that, in fact these fish are not angelfish, they're three little goldfish. But there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one is that the tank is not properly cycled yet, so I don't want to put any fish that will put any strain on it in there. But also in the tank I had these baby goldfish in, the large goldfish was trying to eat them and I think he actually ate one because I originally had four and I can only find three now. So for their protection and just so I've got something in this tank, I went ahead and put them in there for now. Later on though, we'll turn this into an angel tank since that's what you all voted for. Now some of the details on this particular tank. Uh, the way I found this tank was uh, on Craigslist. I was shopping through there waiting for a very good deal. There are a lot of fair deals on Craigslist. But, uh, you know, we want to set up a very cheap fish room. So we were looking for an extremely good deal. You see a 55-gallon fish tank for $150 with a tank and a hood and a stand and a filter. That's a fair deal. It's not a great deal, but it's a fair deal. But uh, you get a 55-gallon tank with a stand, hood, and a filter for $50. Now that's a great deal. Assuming, of course, they hold water. This was a 120-gallon tank, and it was listed for $300. And uh, it had a picture of a 55-gallon tank. And I had passed it by several times, as I suspect many other people did, when I happened to read the caption, the fine print one time, and I noticed that it said 120 gallon tank. So I took a closer look, and there was actually a 55 gallon tank placed in front of this tank, and this tank was under plastic behind it. And so once I realized that, I went and took a look at the tank, and uh, this is a fantastic tank for $300. It's got a stand that looks as good as it could, like it should be in the living room came with a light, needs a hood, it's got no glass, but I can, uh, I can get that made at a hardware store, fairly cheap. And uh, I'll find out what that costs and let you know that as well. And it also came with uh, three filters plus a canister filter, which I haven't got the media for yet, I'm going to go buy that today. And I uh, managed to talk them down to $285, which I actually felt a little bit guilty about, because $300 was a very good deal for this tank. But it just goes to show you, if you stick to it, Hang in there, take your time, don't be in a rush. You can find amazing deals. I've also offered some lower prices for tanks that have been in there for, uh, on Craigslist for a long time. And, uh, and the people are just eager at that point just to get rid of them. Especially these bigger tanks are harder to get rid of because uh, people don't often have the space for a six foot long fish tank. And here's my giant goldfish that may have eaten one of the babies. And he was definitely chasing the uh, other three around with a, with a hungry look in his eye. Hope you enjoyed the latest update on the progress of our fish room so far. And just to show you that you don't necessarily have to have a huge 6 foot long 120 gallon fish tank or bigger to make an awesome fish room. Uh, we're going to show you some possibilities with a smaller tank, only 10 gallons. We're going to leave you with feeding time on my 10 gallon guppy tank. See you guys next time. And this is feeding time at my 10 gallon guppy tank.